This was Sneeko's reaction after he got unbanned from YouTube after two long years. What the f did I do? Someone tell me what I did. And this was Sneeko after a few hours of being unbanned. He got banned again. Not only that, in the last 48 hours, he's been banned from three platforms. I don't know if YouTube unbanned him and was like, Sneeko, we think after two long years, you learned your lesson, you become more mature, and we are ready to have you back on the platform. And Sneeko was very hyped up about it because YouTube is his favorite platform. His whole career started up on YouTube. He started making edits of himself. Everyone want to see me down, but here I come. I'm still standing. Thank you, YouTube, for having me back. YouTube went full on. Psych, you donkey, you think we'll have you back on this platform? Now, the past 48 hours been pretty hard for Sneeko, and I kind of feel bad for him because he kind of changed over the past couple of weeks. Instead of going full politics mode, screaming at the camera, jumping around and saying you can marry 14 year olds because they're you know developed enough he started expanding his interests other places as well he talks about other shit around the world like he beefs with influencers he was playing video games talking to the chat and entertaining them in a non-political way good for him he was looking forward to his new future on the platforms after being banned for so long i've been non-stop all my chat on twitch is a tos gg don't say this don't say that i've been clean i've been playing games like a bot bro I've been playing horror games. I've been, I don't even know what I got banned for. It's just, I woke up, huh, rub my eye, extreme hateful conduct. Oh shit, here we go again. He was playing at semi PG-13, but it didn't matter to the platforms because they were going to ban him either way after the recent drama around the internet came up which we're gonna get to that later on in the video but first why did he get banned from youtube he got banned in 2022 for breaking the community guidelines for spreading misinformation about the covid vaccine and misinformation about the 2020 presidential election he was saying the covid vaccine gives you brain farts it is going to make you stupider it is going to give you disorders he was talking a lot of shit about the covid vaccine me myself in 2020 i took three shots of covid vaccine did it give me brain farts i was getting brain farts way before i took those three shots of vaccine of COVID. what i think 10 years from now the sh shit that they gave us from china china is gonna press a button and all the chips are gonna activate and we're all going to be in control like robots youtube that was sarcasm please don't ban me but after it got unbanned from youtube it was just a matter of time before youtube banned them again the reason it is being said on all the news articles it is being spread all over around Twitter everywhere. They're saying that it is because of community guideline violation. We don't know if that's true or not. It might be because of the fact that his old videos were still there and not privated or unlisted. That's the reason the AI again banned him or they unbanned him and he just said some shit that I haven't found on the internet. The shit that he said. And they were like, for fuck's sake, Sneeko, we just unbanned you. Now we have to ban you again. He might have done something or said something off platform, which, you know, triggered YouTube. Maybe some people in the platform, they unbanned him, but then they came to a conclusion that they have to ban him again. This is just my opinion on this, but I, what I think is the probably the reason for it is the drama that came on the internet after a few days because not only youtube banned him in the same day just after a few hours twitch decided to ban him after they unbanned them for like after two years the reason for his ban they said it is off twitch services the shit that he said was extremely hateful conduct now the reason behind this is because of the controversy that's been happening on the internet for the past couple of days First, starting with Asmongold after the shit he said about Palestine. His friends, team, partners, everyone disowned them and he decided to get a reality check and go clean his room for it. Finally, and it was being broadcast everywhere because that is newsworthy. Shit was so funny. <laughs> hey guys, Asmongold finally cleaned his room. Let me put that on the first page of the news articles. I swear to God, that shit was there. After Asmon, he said that on his second channel, which is his main streaming place channel that he streams on twitch on daily basis they banned that account but then a second streamer which i'm sure this shit went mega viral all over the place about this hijabi streamer who was talking shit about the u.s soldiers i have no pity at all for any soldiers distress thank you so much i will never have any pity for any soldiers u.s military who and who I hope you get PTSD. Now, this is when think before you speak so words won't come out of your asshole comes into play. <laughs> Obviously, with the latest conflict, people have been divided into two groups and they're all just talking shit to each other. You know what's maturing? Maturing is realizing that governments 
government is a dirty place and they're all working together behind the scenes. But when it comes to public, they play dumb and let people fight against each other. It is nothing new that the government is a dirty place and all they care about is money. They don't give a shit about anything else. Now, obviously, this triggered a lot of people, especially living in the U.S., saying she's truly disgusting. Amazon runs Twitch and Twitch frequently promotes her in the ads. Twitch CEO is also being under fire and people are saying that, you know, he must resign because he's allowing people to shut to talk shit about the one side but when the other side wants to talk about this side it is not allowed and they're going to get banned for it adl was also involved in the recent incidents because it wasn't only the hijabi chick there's been other streamers as well who've been going at it with this whole political stuff and no actions have been taken against these streamers and a lot of people were just pissed because twitch was taking one side that caused a lot of drama and, and Twitch needed to do something which resulted into Sneeko and multiple other streamers who talk shit in the past to pay the price. I also wanted to talk about this hijabi chick going at it at the US while living in the US. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like saying, holy shit, this coffee is disgusting, but I'm going to drink it either way. It doesn't make sense. If you hate US so much, why are you living there? Death to USA, but I'm going to live here either way because it is the best place for me to live. My friend, just leave if you're not happy. There's also a video of her saying she's going to recreate 9-11 towers with a cake. 6250, 9-11 baking stream with Raf and Capri. If we get to this goal by 9-11, Capri, Raf and I will make the twin towers out of a stacked cake. And we'll make an airplane and we'll recreate 9-11. Donkey. I swear donkey. D full donkey. I think she was bored that night and she was like, you know what? Let me ruin my career. I have nothing better to do. I don't know how these people honestly sit and watch these type of people talk. Now back to Mr. Sneeko. YouTube gone. Twitch gone because of this. He literally woke up and he had no idea that why he got banned. But in the back of his head, he said that he knew exactly why. Which leads to... The controversy happening which this is the reason why they decided to kick him off the platform because twitch needed to deliver a result what did we do if we're going to be real i'm not going to like play stupid i know exactly what it is they're getting pressure right now because of let's be real let's be real people like destiny people like xqc people like uh, hassan pokimane these people are applying pressure because they're saying that twitch is allowing anti-semitic people on the platform because we're vocal about what's going on in the Middle East. Let's be, that's what it is. The Free Palestine crowd is getting packed up because they are facing allegations that, you know, they're an anti-Semitic platform. So now back to the kick situation. He just got banned on kick just a few hours ago, like eight, nine hours ago from making this video. And apparently he got banned right in front of our eyes while someone was screen recording the whole thing. Like that song, I like pills and Percocets. Yeah. Yeah, you do, you do. Dang, man. Well, how old are you? Yo, bro, You're what? Not... I'm 20, he's 20. It's a chill night. What face is he making? I can't see him. Oh, that's a backward right there, huh? Famous last words from Sneeko before turning into an error page. And the reason behind the band, they're saying that the girl was underage. Well, you know, she was talking with Sneeko. Even though Sneeko agrees with the age of consent being like 14, like that ish. Kick decided to come with a shatak disagreement and say no, that is the reason they are giving us. We don't know if Kick is joining Twitch and YouTube because of the same reason, because Sneeko's history or not. But just after his ban on Kick, he was at the urge of just melting down because of the YouTube, Twitch, and now Kick, which was his safety spot, his main shit place that he streams. Neon decided to call him and check on him, and this is what happened. Sneeko, Sneeko, I'm on the stream. You got banned? I don't think you're supposed to talk to me. What do you mean? Why? I felt bad, right? Nah, man. F that. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I thought you just got a kick deal. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday with YouTube, Monday, Twitch, Tuesday, kick. It's okay, because at the end of the day, you're a Muslim and you're going to go to heaven. Don't, don't forget that, Sneeko. Alhamdulillah for everything. Alhamdulillah. I love you, brother. Hope you get a bend. Now, we talked about Sneeko on this channel multiple times. Am I a big fan of Sneeko? Not really. I disagree with most of the things you say, but I also agree with some of the things you say. Recently, he's been very improved. And like I explained in the beginning of the video, he's been doing different things and just exploring different routes and playing at semi-PG-13, which is good for him. Do I think he deserved these bands? No. 
I think just because Twitch is facing some backlash, they shouldn't ban him and throw him under the bus. They need to check his current status and judge him from there. The whole ban just seems unfair. They're saying the ban on Twitch and YouTube are permanent, but Kick is just 50-50. It's not confirmed yet if they want to permanently ban him or not. We still don't know if Kick is going to hold hands with Twitch and YouTube and be on their side and be like, Sneeko bad, even though Sneeko is trying to switch up things. And I also wanted to give Sneeko the credit, even though he said some dumb shit in the past, he's been very good at staying relevant. He's been getting banned here left and right, cancelled le left and right, and He's still at it. He's still trending. He's still at the top of his game. But yeah, anyways, that was the latest drama of the week. I just put all that shit into one video. Hope you enjoyed the tea of the week with your favorite news reporter entertainment, uh, Kush. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscription it if you're new here. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.